awesome. <coughs> if Don misses uh, in WCSU Challenger. Oh god, that just shows uh, extremely well. He's uh, really good. He's been a big player of the SCT Improved events. He's actually the SCT Improved Winter League 2012 uh, champion. So, uh, and he's been doing so well in the Winter League 2013. He's made two qualifier finals. He's lost 2 1 to Burning slash Armani, and he's lost 2 1 to Patience as well. So, he's um, really been having a little bit of a tough time, but I mean, he's doing well in terms of the points rankings for that. So, he will qualify most likely and have an attempt to hold his title. My knowledge might be a wee bit under that, but was it Patience or Dominus who won last winter? League? Uh, it was uh, Dominus who won. Adonis won the last winter league, but the last qualifier was Patience beat Adonis in the finals. Ah, okay. So sort of like revenge coming on it. Yeah, so, um, I mean, Adonis is going to... I mean, Adonis is probably going to um, end up uh, qualifying for the winter league round of 16 anyway. Um, because he's done so well in the qualifiers, he gets, like, a lot of points. And so maybe he'll be able to find revenge somewhere. Because yeah. I'm sure he wants to defend his crown. Anyway, we're in a PvP. Uh, Adonis is in the top side of the map, and uh, Stardust is in the south side, and... Just have gateway first, as expected for both these players. No proxies or anything crazy, and uh, we'll just see. Probably both of them take a double gas here very, very soon. Around 15 supply, I'm going to say they'll take a gas. Well, if Dominus does take uh, one gas, 15 supply, but I'm waiting for two gas, so they could go in. Second gas, and I just it down. And there's second gas just down for Stardust as well. So this could be maybe a mirror build so far. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Very minimal differences in the gases, yeah. really. And, um, I mean,. It just kind of depends what these guys both want to go for. They're both spending Corona Boost on their probes still, uh, which obviously isn't ridiculous at this point in the game. And um, Free Workers on uh, one gas for Dominus and Free Workers on the other as well. So he's going very heavy on the gas, whereas Stardust only puts two on each. So it, again, it's a very slight difference, but it's definitely a difference. And it looks yeah. as though Dominus will maybe use that to try and tech up a little bit faster uh, throughout the game. It's. Um, you know, this is what he did when he went for the blink play on Polar Knight the other day. So it's very possible he maybe does that again. But again, in general, it just says he wants to get some very fast tech up as fast as uh, possible. That is definitely an option for him. I do see, I do definitely feel that for Dominus Blank is going to down. He's keeping really, really heavy in gas, which sort of shows that he's either going to go, be going for Blank or DTs. That would be the real reason. Where I'm sort of thinking Stardust might go for a uh, Stargate right now. Usually around 4.20 yeah. is when we'll see that go down. And then that will tell the and, tale. Uh, it's actually Dominus who throws down the yeah. first tech of the game, though, Stargate. Um, you know, Stargate instead he opts to go for a Stalker and a Motion Core, Corona boosting them out before his walk gate, even. So, oh. Adonis loves Stargate play, and uh, this probe from Stargate is actually going to walk up in here, and he should spot it straight away, and he will. He clicks on it as well. He sees this, it's a Stargate play. Adonis loves Stargate play. He loves doing pretty much anything with it, uh, even in PvT. He loves to play this kind of Stargate style, so no surprise to see him going for this here. I just expect an Oracle to open up with, although if being scouted, it may not be possible for him to do that, because if his opponent goes for a Stargate and just gets a Phoenix out straight away, getting the Oracle out just puts him behind, so I'll see what he wants to do, and yeah, yeah. gets Phoenix out initially, which is the correct decision. I definitely do think, um, if any of you have watched Pro League, I'm pretty sure you have watched Pro League, well, there was a... It was something, they were both doing mirror builds. And basically, with Adominus open up Phoenix here, I start off seeing. Stardust is getting a bit aggressive. He's uh, coming in with a Mothership Cause and a uh, Stalker. And uh, Adominus is going to have to start uh, controlling this pretty well to uh, deal with it. And um, Phoenix is going to kill off the Mothership Core of uh, Stardust. And Adominus is still keeping his alive. Another uh, Phoenix is about to come out here, which should help. My and uh, he lifts up that Stalker. But I mean, this Zelda's doing a lot of damage in Stardust. Uh, that attack kind of came out of nowhere, really, and he's going to have to use another lift here. And he's still got another Stalker as well, so he killed off a good amount of workers there, eight workers. And now Adonis, he's had to use his early energy as well, which means that he's um, also not really going to be able to um, go in and harass with his Phoenix as much. He's not going to be able to lift up probes and make up for that difference. But this is what I was saying. Usually, uh, two gateways have been thrown down, so they're both going to go at the free gateway, so it'll turn into a Phoenix War. But because Abdominus did open Phoenix, he would, should have the bigger Phoenix count automatically. So if he comes and be aggressive with the, um, the free gateways and the Phoenix, he will be able to lift the Stalker from the sentries up and walk right past his opponent. But we did see he just lost his Phoenix there, and Stardust did take the Phoenix lead. So that is very, very good for Stardust, and it gives him the lead, and that's what, the way he can be aggressive now. And he takes the lead back, and now he loses it. <laughs> <laughs> He's... Uh... 
Phoenix numbers just uh, being played around with quite a bit here. Stardust Warbling and some Stalkers, and I mean, it's a fairly even game. I mean, Adonis, he didn't have to remake his uh, Mothership Core, and in fact, at this point, uh, we didn't actually see Stardust remake his Mothership Core at all, so Adonis keeps his alive, and that can be used quite nicely defensively, against, especially against the Phoenix, and it may catch Stardust a bit off guard, and maybe you can catch one Phoenix, which is just trailing at the end, so yeah. it could be uh, very interesting. I mean, Phoenix production is uh, continuing here. Adonis takes a lot of damage on two of his Phoenixes, though, and uh, that actually gives Stardust quite an advantage moving forward. Uh, to have a lot more health on your Phoenixes is uh, a great thing, so... Adonis is looking to build something else, it's actually just a pile, and he's still just building uh, Phoenixes, and this could go on for a long time where these guys just both build Phoenixes, but um, Stardust is being aggressive. Yep, I definitely can't see Stardust maybe you know, on the par three here. But we do have Dominus, he does have more Phoenix, so this could end up just being very, very weird. And in the sense that it's going to take, come down to the player with the better maker right now, he's going to win this. But when you see Stardust, he is going to pull back, he doesn't see how many Phoenix Abdominus does have, so he is going to start crawling some more Phoenix out. Yeah, um, I mean, this four, these four Phoenixes for Abdominus just sitting in the middle of the map, and Stardust just fall back home, but I mean, he's got the safety now to just make a Nexus, a natural Nexus, and just go from there, and getting that up a bit faster allows him to take his gases a bit faster, and he can make a decision of whether he wants to add on a second Stargate with his extra gases, or if he wants to try and find a way out of this without Stargate, without kind of continuing in the Phoenix, but I think that's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, these Phoenix 4 Dominus are uh, moving around over the natural of uh, Stardust right now, and Stardust may try and cut them off, and this is bad for Dominus because he is down in the Phoenix numbers, and Stardust manages it, he finds them, and he's going to, he's going to win. I mean, he just kills off two Phoenixes, and He's actually going to get a third as well, and that means he's basically, I mean, one. Oh. Like, what else can you say? I mean, he kills all of them. I'm like, going to say that could be game over right now. He does have like, this pylon set up. Yeah, I mean, now uh, Stardust just oh. goes mega aggressive. Oh, the Mothership Call just gets that away. So close. But now there's nothing for, I mean, I mean, literally, Stardust just uh, lifts up everything from his opponent now and just uh, wins the game. Proton Overcharge is used. But he just keeps making units. He actually makes an Oracle as well, which is a great decision at this point, considering he's ahead in Phoenixes. And Adonis is going to try and engage. I'm not sure about this, especially not when he's uh, down in uh, numbers and then lifts can be used so well. He's trying to defend his na na uh, oh, natural nexus, lifting. but yeah, there's the lifts. And this is the problem. I mean, the lifts come down and everything's going to die. There's no way you can counter it. You can't retreat. And Stardust kills off so, so much. And it looks as though... Stardust so might just be the guy who is going to be able to bring my insanity back from the uh, brings up defeat there. It was so close, but I mean now with a 15 work with a 15 supply lead, Stardust will kill this Nexus, force a cancel at least, and um, probably just keep on this aggression to maybe finish the game. <coughs> He's going to fall back for now just to his pile on. My insanity was sent to death row, and they did manage to get one man back with a lucky trial. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to put that. It was very well done, he has pulled it back, but he's not, Abdominus isn't out yet. We can't say he's automatically out. You never know what he could do, he got right he's, back. Uh, it's very hard for him though, I mean, behind a Nexus, uh, behind in Phoenix is still. Yeah. Um, um, or is he? I think uh, he's actually ahead in Phoenix right now. But there's also this Oracle heading into uh, Abdominus' main, and this is such a smart thing to do by Stardust, to make this Oracle, because the last thing Abdominus expects it's... after a Phoenix Phoenix battle is an Oracle. Yeah, but Stardust, as soon as he saw he had that advantage with Phoenix, it starts an Oracle, and he's gonna be able to fly in here and do a lot of damage. There's no defense at all for uh, Dominus. His Phoenix is on the other side of the map, and as uh, Stardust sees this, he should start just to use this Oracle, and he should get a few worker kills. Uh, it looks as though he's just gonna time it up to come in at the same time as his army at the front, though, and yep, that's exactly what he's doing. So, as Adonis gets distracted at the front, this Oracle gets uh, moved forward and into that mineral line, and Stardust should have this game now. I don't see how Adonis is not going to uh, manage this. The Oracle doing a lot of damage. The uh, units here from Stardust just completely overrunning uh, Adonis and Adonis. Just and that's has to, uh, Yeah, I mean... It, it was well played for Adonis to be able to hold on there, but Stardust just had the... I honestly feel the better player there. And yeah, the better decision making. GG's called. Stardust just... Uh, the problem was Adonis was still in a good position until um, Stardust caught them Phoenixes in the middle of the map. Yep. And when he caught them phoenixes in the middle of the map, things just went from worse to worse, and um, it really wasn't a uh, good situation. So.